Hey, what's up guys? Since last summer, when I got married, I've had a lot of people ask what I'm gonna do now that there's two of us going camping and if it's possible to sleep two people in this rig. And so I'm gonna dive into that real quick. So the short answer to that is yes, we can. And I will show you how we do it and give you some reasons why. I don't think it's that crazy to consider sleeping in a rig um, with two people, whether it's a friend or a spouse. The first is well, it's kind of back to the car camping thing. It's nice to have a small mobile vehicle. If you don't have a Sprinter van, you don't have an RV, something like that, you still gotta get out. This might be your best option, especially if the weather's really bad. And the second is, I think that it can just be looked at as like you're backpacking and sleeping in a backpacking tent. If you've ever slept in a backpacking tent that's labeled as a two-person tent, you know that they're not exactly that big. And so I kind of look at this as a backpacking tent and really think about it as a method to sleep and get out and enjoy where you're at, still have the, the mobility and the um, efficiency of a little car. So that's why. Um, and as far as the size of it goes, if you've seen this camper build out that I have, you know that I've got this platform going up where the seats, back seats used to be. It doesn't matter if you have that or not, there's still plenty of space. Overall, I did some calculations and this platform that I have is about six and a half feet um, long. I'm about six foot and she's about five nine and so we've got plenty of space on top or bottom and then the width with this little kitchen cabinet in here makes it more narrow on this back end than on the front and i'll show you the front but overall i did the calculations and a standard backpacking tent or the one that i have um, which is a nemo kunai two-person tent is 41 inches wide at the narrowest point so at the feet and then 50 inches wide at the widest point, which is usually about where your shoulders go. And then it's 82 inches in length. So it's, you know, a few inches longer than, than this setup. And then the total floor space in those is 26 square feet. So that's how much real estate you've got in a little two person backpacking tent. And I calculated this thing, the way I have it set up right now, it's just under 20 square feet, but without this kitchen and with the step that I'll show you later filled in, you can have up to 24 and a half square feet. So this is pretty much just a two person backpacking tent. And I'll show you how much space there is for two medium sized humans just under six feet. The other thing that you have to think like a backpacker um, is when it comes to the packing. So for the most part, we just kind of use this box as all of the camping junk and extra gear. Then we usually each bring a clothes bag, keep our sleeping bags, extra boots, snowshoes, whatever we're, whatever activity we're doing up top. And then we both carry camera bags as well. But overall, we don't carry that much stuff and we don't carry like huge stoves or anything like that. So for this setup, with the platform open like this right here that is 44 inches wide and at the widest point if you were to fill the platform all the way across it'd be 50 um, I think it's 55 inches wide so this is just me as you can tell we've got a little extra space up here and extra space down there and once we add a second person all right, so this is with two people, just like this. I usually sleep right on the edge. I'll shut the door. Then my shoulders just go up against the door. And then she's right there. <laughs> and we can fill in that gap over there with uh, our bags of clothes if we need to. And fortunately, she sleeps on her side too. So there's plenty of space. So if you're wondering, lengthwise, that's how much space we've got. The other end, Got more space here. All right, so that's that. You can do it. Two people in here, just pack light, pretend you're backpacking, and don't plan on playing a game Monopoly in there because there's not a lot of space. And uh, yeah, even if you're just friends, you can still make it work. I've had to once. Prefer not to, but it can be done. Now, while you enjoy some beautiful scenery, I'm going to share a quick message from this video sponsor, Skillshare. So thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring another video and letting me continue to do what I love, which is create. And if you are somebody who also enjoys creating, or maybe you're starting a new business, or you have a pursuit in any form of creative endeavor, Skillshare is an online web platform with a whole bunch of courses on a variety of topics, and they're taught by experts in their fields. And one that I've been enjoying recently is the 
outdoor photography class by Chris Picard. Now, Chris Picard is an absolute legend in the outdoor photography space, and in there he shares some insight on shooting at sunset, during sunrise, uh, middle of the day, and he also dives into the editing process as well to help um, people understand how you can edit images that you capture when you're out on these adventures. So check out the link in the description for a free month trial on Skillshare, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for supporting this channel, and have a good one.